Hey there everyone, this is Chris from the Tech Basement, once again coming to you from the basement. Today we're going to take a look at the EK Phoenix Series 280 radiator with its fans. What we want to take a look at today is what we need to do in order to reorientate these fans. So let's get into it. First we're going to go over what you're going to need in order to reverse the airflow of the Vardar fans that are on the EK uh, Phoenix Series 280 and uh, 360. Of course fans on each of the radiators are going to be different. Now what I used in order to do this was a sticky note, a pen, needle nose pliers and an allen wrench. I'm not sure exactly what size this allen wrench is but it's a uh, pretty small as you can see and uh, just just have a variety of allen wrenches around anyways they're always very useful. So with that being said what we're gonna do here is first remove the fans. I know in a previous video uh, I was talking about how the screws were on really tight almost like EK doesn't want you messing with this that might be the case but uh, they should know better when they're messing with, around with uh, tech people so we love getting our hands dirty yes I did take these off earlier I wanted to see what I was digging into and uh, that's just good I guess you could say journalism I want to look at myself as a journalist but you know, hey, some people do look at us in that manner. And so that's the reality some of us are stuck with. All right, now, yeah, great. Didn't have this happen before, so let's just take this. By the way, I'm just grabbing the head there and get that off okay now when these come off you're gonna find something rather interesting I've never seen this before but I've never really dealt with a lot of radiators as well is that they have these little tabs they're very nice I like it that keeps all the the uh, uh, wiring nice and neat and yeah, you will want to take those out because they actually they actually orientate your fan wires. So there you go. There's that. Let's take this one off. Now, I do not know if this voids your warranty or not, so do that this at your own risk. I didn't check, it doesn't matter to me. If I want these reorientated, I will reorientate these. As you can see, there's a third one up there, and you'll see a little bit later why I removed all those. Now, see, it's as simple as that. You just gotta get over the uh, reality that these are just put on really nice and tight from the factory. So that is taking those off of there. Now where the trick comes in is where you, when you put these little buggers back on. And they're nice, I like those. It keeps everything nice and neat, everything else. And you're probably wondering at this point, where in the devil is the sticky note gonna come into play? Well, I don't wanna mix up where the fans went. So what I did is I took, piece of paper like this, the sticky note, folded it over, creased it, and then went like this, cut off the end. There you go. There you have a marker on there. Put F1 for fan one, F2 for fan two, and the last one is your pump. So it's as simple as that. And I did that uh, because when you go to try to put this stuff back in, it is an absolute pain. Uh, putting these in here so what I had to do before 
was to just mark those and take those all out. But we're gonna try something here. I'm gonna take the tweezers, tweezers, <laughs> needle nose, and go like this. But the problem comes in that when you flip this fan, the the uh, uh, your your fan cables don't want to play nice. Uh, another thing you have to watch out for is when you put the fan back on, you see these little edges right here. You can you got to make sure this little holder will be within there. So let's reorientate the fan and show you exactly what I'm talking about. See like that, like that. And so if you want it upside down, I guess it's not gonna be all that bad. Just go like that, make sure that's on there. Another good thing about these little, little uh, notches in the fans themselves, it actually holds these in which is really nice to design and I really like it. I'm not gonna put these fans like this, even though I'm gonna, I have another build in mind. I'm not sure exactly what radiator I'm gonna put where and the way I want the airflow to be orientated over the radiator itself. So at this point, uh, I'm gonna just, uh, Put it back together and just show you the way that I had to do it before and what it was was you might run across this you might not um, I I'm seeing the best way to do this is exactly this right here but I'm not getting all of the cables at this point just make sure you get all the cables it just makes things all nice and more simple and organized okay see the pump one does not want to come up and get underneath the little tab here so what I'm gonna do hopefully before that moves let's get that underneath and in there just like that so those needle nose will come in handy for more than just either pulling these out or putting them in. As you saw me, I was using that to make sure that wire went back up that way. So, if you want to, you can orientate the that back in there. Another thing is that this is right here, and you're gonna wanna make sure that gets back in there. Once you do all that, get your screws in, you'll be rocking and rolling. Now let's go like this. I'm really particular about keeping the screws where they came from, so you don't have to. They're all the same size and all that good jazz. It's just a little pet peeve of mine. I like to keep my stuff straight. All right, this is where it came in that uh, these these fans needed this on here because what I'm seeing right now, and I had to do this when I did my dry run here, was that these don't want to line up, which is going to cause really big problem for that little doohickey there also find it easier to take a pair of needle nose pliers and pull these out using that top plastic area not pulling on the wires at all that would just be crazy and there we go so now what we can do at this point is take these out unless I can now organize them to play nice which I think I just did once again take those needle nose pliers get that in there yeah that's not I 
and that's all in there so this other one should be nice and easy and once I say that it's not gonna be that's just the way this stuff goes yep gonna have to do this you wanna use everything at your disposal that you have in order to adapt to your situation now everything's all nice and neat up in there we will attach these once we get this back on and there you go this is the disassemble just the little things that you're gonna run into when you take this off I would stay away from moving the fans to the other side of the radiator unless you want to get a little ambitious and you know run the cables around the back things like that I personally right now don't want to do that but we'll see what happens with this other build that I'm uh, gonna be doing and what needs to be done so and there we go okay trying to be nice and fancy and tucking that underneath the way I found it when I got this but that's good enough uh, there you go uh, the taking a part of your Phoenix radiator that's what you're gonna find underneath so if you like this video please give me a like if you dislike the video dislike it if you dislike it please tell me what you would like to see differently so with that being said hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and this is Chris saying out